Welcome back to Pina Cucina. Today we're making cannelloni filled with ricotta and spinach. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is make a Napoletana sauce. Now I know that I've done this before, but I'll do it again so you'll learn it better. So we're gonna put some olive oil in the pan. Now remember, whatever pot you're using, you cover the bottom of the pan, and then we're gonna drop in the onions. One way of finding out if the olive oil is hot enough is just drop one in and see if it sizzles. And it looks like it is. In goes the rest. Stirring constantly till the onion is translucent. And then we're going to put in the garlic because otherwise if we put the garlic in now, it would burn by the time we're ready. This is the time the onion cooks. If you don't cook it now, you're gonna get that raw onion taste in your sauce, which is not very nice. It's starting to look translucent now. I think we're safe enough to put the garlic. One nice big clove of garlic. Mmm, the smell of that garlic, I never get sick of it. And I'm going to put the sauce in now. A bit of basil, just a whole will do. A bit of salt. Now we'll let the fire do its work. Bring it to the boil and then you turn it to medium heat and put the lid on and let it cook for about 45 minutes. And don't forget to go and stir it every now and again. And if it needs a bit of water, you just add it if it's too dry. Now for the cannelloni, this is what you're going to need. Two eggs, some chopped parsley, a bit of bacon, some mozzarella, of course the beautiful fresh ricotta, some pecorino cheese and the spinach that I have washed and cooked and chopped. So you need to squeeze all the water as much as you can out of them, otherwise you're going to get really sloppy cannelloni. We put the eggs in here and we just lightly beat them. Now the egg is to just keep everything together. Now for the vegetarians, don't put this in. This is bacon. And we put in the spinach. This was one bunch by the way. Parsley. I love parsley. I'll put that on top afterwards. Now you need roughly around about 200 grams of mozzarella. A bit of pecorino cheese, like a couple of handfuls. And the ricotta. So there's about half a kilo of ricotta as well in there. Just check my sauce. It's nearly ready for some liquid. About half a litre of water. I don't like using stock because I don't want to compromise the flavour of the tomatoes. Especially when it's Napoletana, there's no meat in it. The real reason is because I don't know what they put in that stock. Now it's just a matter of mixing everything together and then filling up the tubes. You have to get your hands dirty for this, unfortunately. Make sure everything is mixed up beautifully together and have a little taste of it. And if it needs a little more seasoning, just add a little bit of salt or pepper, whatever you prefer. But make sure that everything is well combined. I just hope we've got enough to fill them up. You can never tell. Time to try it. Always taste it. I can taste everything. So that, that's time to fill them up. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is good, you can actually see. It's like glass, it's like a window. Don't worry if you get them dirty on the outside. This reminds me when we used to fill up the salamis. You know, back when I was little, we didn't have these cannelloni tubes. They weren't invented yet. We used to make the lasagna sheets and we used to roll them up as if they were a tube. They're a little bit more work, but these are quite good from the supermarket. Nice and simple. And we got the cannelloni all filled there's about 16 here, so it will do four people. So all we need to do is just cover them with the sauce and put them in the oven for about uh, 20 minutes. Because everything is basically cooked. We just need this, the pasta to soften. Okay, the sauce is beautifully done. So I'm spooning it on. They have gotta be nicely covered. Because hopefully this pasta will soak it all up. We don't want a dry kind of lining. I'm gonna get the last little bit of sauce out. Going to sprinkle some pecorino cheese on the top, just a couple of handfuls, a bit more parsley. Then we're going to put it in the oven that I had preheated at 200 degrees for around about 20 minutes or thereabouts. And here we are, our cannelloni are ready now. You need to pierce them with a fork to make sure if the fork goes in nice and easy, that means it's ready because everything was pretty much cooked. So all we need to do now is put some in a plate. It's a bit tricky getting the first one out of the dish. I think I'll do one at a time. And we 
to spoon a little bit of sauce over the top. And there you have it, spinach and ricotta cannelloni. And let's open one up and see what it looks like inside. See the mozzarella is beautifully melted and this is what you're looking for. All we need now is a couple of hungry people. And there you have it, spinach and ricotta cannelloni.